Good morning, I believe it is Monday the 26th of November, at least around that sort of time. And I've just started my period. So I went to the bathroom just now and wiped, and sure enough there's some blood, so I'm just gonna put a panty liner on, because it's not too heavy yet. Um, those of you who are really, who really follow my channel, you will have noticed I didn't do a period vlog last month. Um, why is there always an aeroplane or a train when I try to film? Typical. Um, yeah, I started doing one and then I just, didn't have anything interesting to talk about and I was like this is ridiculous I can't do this this vlog this month so I didn't do it last month but hopefully this month will be will be a lot better so I was actually supposed to be in that actually you know what let me put this panty liner on first I don't want to drip everywhere so I was supposed to be speaking at an event in London called Let's Talk Period that was going to be done by plan um, and this was about like using your voice to get your cause heard, in my case periods and they were talking about it's a group of people who work in like education and sexual health and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so I'm a little bit disappointed I wasn't able to go because there are a couple of people there who I, who I know as well who are going um, but I just said to her listen my period's late and I don't want to risk it. You don't want to be stuck in London with like really bad period pain like adenomyosis is what I've got. Um, and nothing else, so yeah. I just need to check something. Oh, it's 11.20. Um, I also ordered some more CBD this month. So anyway, I've made a video for them to play there, so hopefully that's all right. I uh, just threw it together last night. I need to go to the post office because I've had a package that was tried to be delivered on Friday, and this happens to be my CBD because um, I think it does help, and I've been taking it for the last week or so. Uh, my, my little vape pen, but I run out of one of the cartridges, which is my favourite one. Uh, so I still have some CBD, so it's okay if I can't get there, but I do want to see if I can go and pick this up today uh, from the post office, uh, the holding office, because they tried to deliver it on Friday, and unfortunately they the person sent it with tracking, which means signature is required, and I wasn't in. So I'm hopefully going to be able to pick that up today. That's the only other thing I need to do, as well as a lot, a lot of emails. <laughs> I'm very glad I just checked this little card because I've realised the sorting office is only open till 12 midday today and it is currently 11.20 so I'm going to very quickly throw my hair, brush my hair and throw some clothes on, go out and do that, come back and then I think have some breakfast. Got it. I've just had some breakfast, just some toast and vegan butter, very easy. I've got a hot lavender bag on my belly right now, haven't taken anything yet, um, the period hasn't really like got started yet and the pain's perfectly manageable. I did find, as, as you saw, I managed to get that um, capsule up, it's just basically, oh no it's already put away, ah, oh, here it is, it's just basically a top up um, cartridge for my uh, vape pen, because I do, I do think it's actually been helping, at first I thought it really didn't make a difference, but, oh sorry, at first I thought it really didn't make a difference, but then I sort of stopped taking it the week before, and I did notice that my period pain got worse, so even if it takes the edge off, it's worth it for me. Um, so yeah, the other, but the other cartridge is almost gone now, so I needed to get a new one, so that came. Um, just currently doing some work, got to get a few emails done, got to get a few payments done, all that kind of stuff coming up to the end of the month. Um, but other than that, we're doing good. Today, I, feel, I actually feel pretty good today, like energy-wise. I've been really low, like, the last few days, and I've been really struggling. Um, yesterday, I, like, I was really tired, and I had to get some work done as well. I don't usually work on Sundays, I tell myself no work on Sundays. But on Saturday, I went to see a good friend of mine, and we were booking a, a holiday that we're having in the Easter uh, break which will be really fun to go away together, but that meant that, that all of Saturday I was with her, so I didn't get to get any work done, so I had to do something yesterday. Yeah, so now I'm just kind of catching up with that, doing emails, messaging people. I was supposed to be going into London yesterday, actually, but um, my meeting got, my um, fitting got cancelled, which is really good, actually, because I had realised yesterday that I'd accidentally double booked someone, so somebody else is supposed to be meeting much more closely uh, for coffee, and because we'd, we'd met at a, another event and I realised she worked in Richmond. Um, and then I was like, oh, you know, shoot, I'm going to have to move her because I've got this fitting in, but that's just been cancelled. And it's been cancelled last minute, which means A, I get paid for it, which is great, uh, and B, I can still go and see this lady, so that was a real bonus. So I've still got stuff to do tomorrow, which is good. It is currently 11, well, it's basically 12 o'clock, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's coming up to about one o'clock now, and the pain has really, it started to kick in. About half an hour ago, I started to get these cramps that were, like, really becoming more consistent, so I took some Nurofen, which is my um, ibuprofen that works best for me. And, uh, of course, it's still kicking in, but I just went to the bathroom as well, which doesn't help. 
because you get, you know, either diarrhea or constipation on your period, which is one of the lovely other symptoms of it. Uh, and yeah, it's, oh, mm, it's really kicking in now. Like I could feel it across my front and my back. So um, I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, I've got the kettle going. I'm just going to make some like tea for myself. Um, and also a hot water bottle because it lasts a bit longer than those um, heat bags you warm up in the microwave. Oh, I hope this pain meds kick in soon. Sometimes it can take an hour for them to have an effect, but at least I took them at half an hour ago, so it should should start to kick in. What time is it? Yeah, it's one o'clock now. I think I took it around 12.30, so should kick in within the next half hour. I am glad I got all my work done so far, though. It's two o'clock now. The last hour has literally been hell. Um, around, like, right after I turned off the camera, I went to make a cup of tea and this hot water bottle. And I managed to get the hot water into this, but I was feeling, like, my head... You know when you can feel all the blood go to your head? It was... And the pain was getting much worse, and I just kind of went down on the floor with this hot water bottle, and I could, couldn't get up again. I was so, like in so much pain of feeling dizzy, got to the bathroom, like, had really bad, kind of like, what I call period diarrhea, you know, and it just doesn't stop, and then I started feeling sick, and then I threw up, then the pain was so bad, I was just writhing on the floor, and I was like, if I get up, I am going to faint, so you might be able to hear my mum moving in the background, messaged her, like, just thank God for Google, because I couldn't even text, I had to speak into the phone and be like, period bad, please come, and fortunately she was here, she hadn't gone to London yet, so she was able to come, but, um, yeah, it was really bad, and, like, the pain was so excruciating, I was like, oh my god, I, 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 I'm going to faint from this, and fortunately my mum arrived, at one point she helped me get from naked on the floor in the bathroom to at least a t-shirt, and I, I got to put a towel on the bed, and I came and just crawled up here, and I've just been, like, moaning away and stuff, and... Finally, about an hour and a half after I took the Nurofen, they, they kicked in enough that the pain was controllable. But I was, I was only a bit worried because of my fluid levels, and I've had a few problems with my bladder recently, like with needing to pee constantly, um, and I was worried that I've got something up with my kidney, because they have mentioned that the Lyme disease can affect your kidney as well. Um, so I was worried that something was playing up and that was contributing to the pain here. Because I'm not, I'm not bleeding properly yet. Like usually, if I get this pain, usually it's when I'm heavy and I'm like passing cots and stuff. I haven't even got to that stage yet, so I do not know what. And this pain feels a bit different, so I don't know what's caused it. But either way, um, yeah, I've just I've asked mum to get me a hot drink now, and um, I'm just gonna stay in bed for the rest of the day. But done it. Like I was so good earlier. I was in, I was so so much better, and then just oh. But yeah, that that was. That was really scary because I was on my own as well before my mum got here and if you're on the floor and you can't get up and you can't really move your legs and it's you're incoherent it's oh it's not fun really not fun it's like 2 30 now pain's already starting to kick back in and I'm just shivering all over earlier on when like the pain was really bad you know when you you're in a lot of pain you feel really sick and you're just like burning up you feel like you're gonna faint like that was the worst. I hate that. And then you suddenly go really cold and stuff afterwards. I know I've got to drink like a lot of fluid and stuff, but oh, just yeah. I'm trying to distract myself now by watching stuff online. The pain's already kicking back in, um, so I don't know how long this med's gonna last. And I'm just, you know, this is this is the point where I get really really pissed when people say that you're exaggerating the pain because I'm just like, Do you know what? Come and come and experience it. Come and swap uteruses with me for a year and just see how much you can put up with this kind of pain because it is just not normal. And I, the only thing I can think of that I've done differently is I haven't been taking. Uh, I ran out of one of my supplements this month, which was the like the one for like the IBS symptoms, and I did start taking it again, and they had reduced in like the last week, but I'm not sure whether that was long enough. And the other supplement I take is Don Quay, but I've only been taking that for a week, really. Um, and I need to take that for two weeks, I think. So uh, I guess that could have been what caused this as well, made this episode so bad. But yeah, I've definitely learnt my lesson if that was that one. That was just 
unbelievable. Yeah, now. Now I'm going to try and get some energy back and just continue watching stuff on YouTube. Ah! I had a towel and everything earlier as well. Of course, the moment I took it away, I leaked. Darn it. It's just coming up to half past four now. Um, I had to take some more meds because the cramps are kind of coming back again. But fortunately now they're under control and touch wood will be okay. My gosh, that was that was really scary earlier actually. I was, it's, I've never had it on my own before where it's been that bad. And I just, oh God, just yeah, awful. Um, so now I have, fortunately I had done all my work before that happened though, and I was just, I was so shocked because I was feeling so good this morning, like really good. I was able to go, I went to the post office and everything as you guys saw, no problems at all, and then just bam, I can't just clap my hands, so I just thought I'd hit myself in the face, that's not going to help. <laughs> and then literally just like, like that it snapped, and I was like, what is going on? Anyway, I am properly bleeding now, I've put some period underwear on just because it was, the easiest thing to do but the way I always say you can tell you're in a lot of pain is if you are lying on the floor you think you might get crap on yourself and blood and you just do not care um, and there, there was a point where I, I genuinely thought that I might lose consciousness I was because you know when you're lying down and the world's spinning and you're like lying still and it's, it's going in and out my vision was like going um, that that was oh it was really scary actually um, so I was really glad I managed to get my mum here and, uh, you know, in the end we managed to avoid getting an ambulance out, which is always good, don't want to go to hospital, possibly can avoid it. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was more worried about my fluids at that point, because I know I t when I'm sick, I, I'm dehydrated generally anyway, and when I'm sick I just lose anything. So, uh, but that was fine, I've been drinking, I've got loads of drinks down here, keep me going, I've got some strawberries, healthy food, I've had some soup that my mum made me, so... We're good right now. Um, my dance teacher, I think, is coming over later. Well, she's old, my old dance teacher said that she might come and visit later because she's very close to my mum and they were talking and she said she might come and visit, so that would be nice just to see her. So, yeah, getting on with it, just suffering as it is, but oh my god. Adenomyosis, it's a bugger. It is about half past midnight now. Um, I'm aware I didn't pick up the camera for a while. Uh, my dance teacher did come. And we spent about an hour together, which was lovely. Lovely to catch up with her. I just had a pot needle for dinner because I, I didn't really... I needed to get something in my stomach that was easy. Didn't really trust myself to do more than heat up a kettle. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still got, like, minor cramps now. But nowhere near as bad as before. Um, I do need to take some more meds now. Um, I haven't needed to take this much Nurofen or uh, ibuprofen for quite a few months. I have no idea what happened today, literally, like, no idea what caused that, but, yeah, it was very scary, and, um, hopefully they have to repeat it again soon, but feeling okay now, fingers crossed, my mum did say that she was going to keep her phone on tonight, just in case anything happened, which has sort of made me feel a bit more reassured, even though, you know, knock on wood, I hope I won't need to, got some drinks, got some snacks in case I need to take more meds, actually, as I said before, I'm going to need to take some more, just to be sure I'll be alright for the night. Um, but I've got a book that I'm enjoying, which is good, and the pain's died down a bit now, so I'll probably just go to the toilet in a little bit. I've been wearing period underwear all day, by the way, um, because I haven't been, couldn't really be bothered with the pads and stuff, so I just put, put that on. Um, I'll probably continue that overnight. Um, yeah, I did manage to perk up a little bit later on. It's so funny how exhausting it is just being in pain. Like, you are, you're so drained from it, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, been a very weird day today. Um, I did pick up a bit of energy, bit of energy at le uh, le later on in the day, um, and I was able to do a little bit more work, which is good. So I didn't feel like I'd been a total waste because I was really pissed off. Apart from anything else, I was like, I had this whole plan for the day, and this just disrupted it. So that was good at least. Anyway, um, I do still have a meeting booked for tomorrow. I haven't cancelled it, so fingers crossed I'll be all right for that. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's 11. Last night I slept okay, you know, I got a, a decent amount of sleep. Did wake up at 4 with a bit of pain. I had to change my pad and everything. Um, I've got a bit of a dilemma on my hands now because I've got a meeting currently at 1 o'clock and it's 11am now so I've only really got an hour to make a decision about it. 
I feel fine right now, like pain is, there's no pain there, but I do know from past experience that it can develop quite quickly, so I don't know how, I'm, I really don't know, I really want to meet with this lady, but I just think I probably should cancel, just given that it is the second day. Um, I think tomorrow, if it was tomorrow, I would be would have been fine, but just because I was so bad yesterday and I don't know why, I'm, oh, I don't know, it, it, this is the thing I hate about it, I just don't, I, I would have been fine normally for this, but I'm just not sure I'm going to be today, so I've, I've got to make the decision within like the next 10 minutes, so I think I'm going to get up, get something to eat, see how I feel, and then if I feel really bad, still feel a bit unsure, I'll message her, but yeah, so that was my only thing I really had to do today. Um, so we'll see how that, we'll see how I feel in a minute. It's coming up to 4pm now. The weather has been miserable today. It's so grey, so I, I've closed the curtains and done. Just had a hibernating day. Um, pain-wise, been fine today. No bad pain at all. You know, just the very minor little crampy things that you can easily deal with. That's fine. I was, I'm just so confused about it yesterday. I'm, yeah, whatever. I ended up cancelling my meeting because I decided I wasn't quite sure I would feel happy risking it. I did ask if she'd be willing to Skype, but she said it was no problem we could postpone, which is always really good when you're meeting women uh, in business, I find. They tend to be a lot more sympathetic towards this kind of stuff, uh, which is always really great. So I have basically just been doing emails and work for the day, all the online stuff I need to get prepared because I'm off to Dubai next week, as I think I've mentioned, um, so I won't have time to do a lot of the work stuff then. So I've been doing a lot of that, and I think I'm going to go wash my hair because it is just so gross, uh, and I quite fancy having a nice soak in the bath beforehand, so I think I will be doing that in the next hour or so. Also, I need to think about dinner at some point because I don't even know what is in the house. I'm sure I could throw something together. It's coming up to about quarter to ten now. I made the mistake earlier of sleeping for about an hour or two, so of course I'm now kind of still a bit groggy but waking up a bit. Um, I've decided to make some fajitas. So I think I might have shown you this before, but I've just mixed together some mushrooms, red onions, some yellow pepper, a little bit of spring onion and some spices. About to heat up this tortilla and then have that for dinner. I think it's about half midnight now. Yeah, oh, on the dot, 30 minutes past midnight. Um, just having a little midnight snack, some chocolate cake and ice cream is a bit of a treat. I'm running a bath as well. I didn't get around to washing my hair as you can probably see. Hopefully I'll get to do that tomorrow. Uh, today's just been really lazy, but fortunately, pretty much pain free. I've now been dealing with this kind of like stomach pain that I get, which is mainly from the ibuprofen because I've had to take more than I would want to, um, which sucks, but it, it was, it was, better that than the pain of the period so you know but you know I think fingers crossed and touch wood that we are now past that bit so we shouldn't need to take any more just been watching like documentaries and stuff on Netflix as well I watched the um treasure treasures of the unbelievable I think it was and I was watching it the whole time wondering is this a mockumentary or a documentary and I was pretty sure it was a mockumentary and then right at the end you can you can tell what it is but I did think it was pretty funny actually because they, they did really well with the way they shot it um, so I was watching that and now I'm just browsing through YouTube and stuff, but I'll probably turn my light out quite soon. So I am utterly useless because it is now 8 o'clock on day 3 and I have not vlogged the entire day. I woke up at about 10.50 and I was feeling fine, like last night was absolutely fine, so I thought okay, you know, I'll just do some work today. Um, I had a call at 12 with someone which went well and then I was supposed to have another call at, um, two o'clock but that got cancelled uh so i went to see my mum because we were going to go ice skating but the ice rinks have opened up around here because it's now coming up to christmas um but the weather was so foul we decided to actually go for afternoon tea instead at a local place and also do some work so we took our laptops like we did some my mum's a business coach like i mentioned this before so it's quite useful to talk to her about stuff like what she's planning what i'm planning we always enjoy that kind of interaction so i spent the afternoon with her basically went back had a little bit of dinner although i didn't eat very much because i haven't been haven't been very hungry today that's one thing i've really noticed um like even the tea i had one scone and, and nothing else really um just some tea and i had a piece of toast for lunch and that yeah that was pretty much it so yeah bit bit weird not sure what's caused that but there you go so um that, that was basically it and then i was just at my parents house and watch stuff on my laptop but I was so annoyed with myself because I forgot to take my camera with me and I, I knew as soon as I got there I was like darn it I've left the camera but um if we've been going ice skating I might have been able to pick it up because it wasn't too far from there but unfortunately uh opposite direction to where we wanted to go otherwise so 
didn't grab the camera for that, but it, it wasn't like that interesting. Um, tomorrow I just have to go and do the food shopping, I think, because I'm getting quite low on food. I need to get some petrol as well. Uh, but other than that, there's not a lot that's happening. My period today has been really calm. I put a cup in, I've put in the new Selena cup that I'm trying out, uh, which is my cup of this month to try. I've got a lot of cups that have actually been sent recently to, to try out, so I'm trying to get through as many as I can. Um, but that's what I'm currently trying out. And then, and it's been fine so far, it's been really good. Had a bit of cramping earlier on today, but nothing bad, didn't need to take any ibuprofen. Um, and I've come to the conclusion that really bad episode must have been caused by constipation. So I've really got to crack down on my supplements, because as I said before, I think I was a bit worse at taking them this month, because there was a, a week or so where I ran out, and I had a different one that didn't do the same job. So I need to get better at that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, but I think that might be what caused it. So at least I kind of know what it was now. So it's now Thursday and I've just had an urgent message saying I need to get into London for a fitting uh, with M&S. So I have approximately three minutes to get up and get ready. Wish me luck. So I just got another message actually saying that they've pushed it back half an hour, which is good for me. It means I've got another half an hour to get ready before I need to catch the train. Um, so my hair is a mess. I still haven't got around to washing it. I'm hopefully going to wash it today. So I've just put it up into this wrap. i uh, just thrown on a top and some trousers right now. Uh, fortunately, my period pain has now completely stopped because of day four. I've just put a menstrual cup in to last me throughout the day. The only other thing I've got is I'm supposed to be meeting a friend at three. But I'm going to have to message her and see can she put it back to five is my um, friend who's got my goddaughter with her so I'm gonna go and see her can't show her though because she's not being on camera um, and then at some point I've got to get the food shopping done as well today so I think I will do all that and then wash my hair this evening and then I'll probably try and edit this video tonight because I don't have much time tomorrow either so yeah that's what's going on today <laughs> Always entertain when they call me in to literally try on one bra and they have to pay me for like two hours and stuff. But hey, it's good pay. Um, I'm just going to head home now and then I'm going to head off to my friends. Hopefully, there's no delays on the trains because they have been a nightmare recently. And I'm back. So, that was a very easy trip into London. It is, I think, gone like kind of four ish, no, three, ah, 3 30. It's 3.30, I don't have to go and see my friend till 5, so I've got a little bit of time to kill. Um, just got a few emails to answer that I didn't get on the train. Um, I've been thinking recently that I really need to get a new iPad, because my iPad is, um, it's got this nasty crack on it. I don't think you really even see it. But um, it's got a nasty crack on it, and it's an older model, I think it's from like 2015 or something. And it's starting to, which isn't really that old if you think about it, but it's starting to slow down quite a bit. Um, and I've been debating whether to get a keyboard, a new iPad in the keyboard so that when I'm on the train to London, because I seem to be going in and out a lot more recently. I've had a lot more meetings in London in the last few months. And obviously, like, the travel, is, it's at least an hour for me. So that's an hour of time that I could be, like, working on something. And usually I just read, but uh, I feel like I could be a bit more productive with my time. So I've been debating getting one of those iPads. The problem is, uh, the iPad Pro is extortionate, it's really expensive, and the normal iPad doesn't have the normal keyboard connector, so they only have the Bluetooth keyboard. So it's just whether or not I think I can have it leaning against something um, while I use the keyboard, or whether I really do need them to connect, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm having to think about this a little bit more, see if I can come up with a solution, but uh, that's something I, I am thinking of getting. Uh, certainly at the keyboard, I might be able to try it out on this one if I, if I do get the Bluetooth one and see if, see if it's any uh, use, any extra help. But um, yeah, so that's something I just remembered as I was coming back here. It's already getting dark, it's ridiculous. It's like so miserable and grey. It's 8.30 now, I got back about half an hour ago. I am definitely about to go and wash my hair because I keep meaning to do it and I haven't got around to it and it really needs doing so I'm definitely going to do that in a second. I just remembered, um, funny story of today, when I was on the train to London, I felt this kind of dampness between my legs and I was convinced I hadn't put my cup in properly and that it was leaking and I had blood all over the back of my trousers and I was like, it's okay, I'm just going to have to walk through London with this and I'm basically, I'm just breaking the taboo around periods and it'll all be fine. Finally got to, you know, M&S and stuff to do this fitting. Went up, got my, you know, pass, went up to one of the bathrooms. Uh, went in, the tiniest bit of blood on my panty liner. But, like, my brain had just, like, 
overreacted to this and was like, oh my god, there's blood everywhere, it's gonna be a blah 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 blah. Anyway, and um, yeah, it was totally fine, my cup was fine, it was just a little bit of blood that was around it had come down, which is perfectly normal to have, but oh my gosh, like, I, just, I don't know, I just, it, it's happened before, but I was just so, so conscious of thinking, oh my god, I've bled, I've bled through like everything. It's the third day of my period, no, the fourth day of my period as well, I barely bleed on the fourth day anyway, so. Yeah, that was just, that was a face right there. I saw my goddaughter earlier, um, came, she was, she was in a cranky mood today, actually, really cranky. Helped out um, her mum with some English homework, which is, I always find so ironic, because I end up doing this quite a lot, actually, with some of my guests who stayed, those of you who watched me for a while, I used to, well, I still do, technically, I haven't got anyone at the moment, but I host refugee guests, usually women with children, vulnerable women with children. And um, for some of them, English either isn't their first language or they're not, they haven't had much education. And I, oh, I'm dyslexic. I hated writing. Hated it at school. Like, I never, if my English teachers could see me now, like, they'd roll over in the grave, except they're, they're not dead yet, probably. I doubt. So, just, they'd, they'd faint. But, yeah, I, I hated it. Was not good at it. Grammar was not my strong point. But I've learned now that I actually do have really good grammar because I was forced to do it for so long. So, yeah. Uh, but I always think it's kind of funny. Came back, did the food shop, bought some of these, um, the Just Roll Puff Pastry Pan of Chocolates, which by the way are vegan. They're one of my favourite um, accidentally vegan products that I have at the moment. I didn't do too big a shop because I'm about to go to Dubai, as I said before, on Monday. So I just thought it just needs something to get me through the last few days uh, with some healthy food. And then obviously snacks and stuff like that last for ages anyway. So yeah. Um, other dilemma I've got that I've been thinking about is that next week, so I leave on Monday and then Tuesday is our first full day in Dubai. It's also the first day that the final book in this trilogy, the next Shadowhunters trilogy, comes out. And I'm like, okay, what do I do? Because I know I'm not going to be able to resist buying it. I can't have it on the way out there at least. So, you know, the perfect opportunity when I've got a long plane journey, like seven hours to kill, where I don't want to sleep and I could have a brand new book and we booked it a day early, so I won't have that, darn it. Um, but yeah, then the next day when I'm in Dubai and I'm not to be doing all this stuff, the book comes out. And these are like big books that she writes. So it's the, the last one with the story of uh, Emma and Julian. And I'm just like, oh! to see it because I think there's also a lot of stuff about Alec and Magnus in there whose relationship I have heavily invested in but I know there are a lot of you out there who are also Shadowhunter fans uh, who are probably you know waiting for this book release as well so yeah I'm just I, I'm d debating back and forth over do I get this book do I do I buy it before I go away or do I well I can't buy it before I go away but do I buy it when I'm out there and then risk getting so absorbed in the story I don't do any other stuff or do I wait, try and wait until the end of the holiday to buy it, which I doubt I will be able to? Or do I only let myself read chapters at a time? It's so difficult. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end up just buying it and getting immersed in it. But I don't want to ruin the Dubai holiday. So, ah, bad timing. Bad timing. Anyway, I need to go wash my hair. It's about 20 past midnight now. And I finally, you know, washed my hair earlier, as you can see. Had a spot of dinner. Nothing particularly interesting. Just some hash browns and some gravy and some stuffed peas, all that. Uh, very easy, basic, just wanted something in my stomach. I wasn't that hungry actually, just wanted something in my stomach, you know, when you just need a bit of food and to take my pills obviously too. But yeah, that is uh, this week's vlog basically. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos now, read a book I've probably read before, but might go back and read that Shadowhunter series again. How many of you guys are fans? I know I've seen a few people comment before, but I'd be interested to know how many of you are also waiting for that book to come out. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there was something else I was going to say. Oh, I know what it was. Um, so Eco L, for those of you who follow her, she's got a Twitter and an Instagram. I'll try and put some stuff up in there. My social media links are in the down bar and also I'll play them at the end of the video. Um, but I'll retweet and probably repost some stuff from her. But she's doing this eco period box throughout December where every day she's putting like an eco-friendly product in this box that's for periods and then it's going to donate it to a charity and there's lots of info on her site as well. So I'm going to post about that and um, Precious Stars, uh, my, my business as well, will probably donate about five uh, cloth pad starter kits to this cause as well because it's a really worthy cause, I think, to support eco-friendly periods and period poverty, two of my re um, really big, what's the word, causes at the moment, you know, real pulls towards, so yes, that's obviously great and it's so great to see what she's doing. Um, Ella only started that, I think, like February this year and she's done really well. I've met her at a couple of events, so it's really, really good to see. Anyway, I am going to love you and leave you now, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this period vlog. 
very weird period. First day, absolute agony, wasn't expecting it. I have come to the conclusion now, I think I might mention this before, but I'm pretty convinced it was constipation. I don't know why though, because I've been taking this, uh, well, I, t I missed a week of taking the supplements, but I started taking them again. Obviously, it needs a lot more time to build up in the system to, even after it's been there for a while, if I stop. So that's a big reminder to me to not forget to reorder that stuff, because it really does make a difference to buy a selenium. Anyway, uh, so m Monday was horrible and awful and I never want to repeat that again. Uh, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, today, you know, have all been fine. So that's a good sign at least. Uh, hopefully I will get on top of this again. Anyway, next week is Dubai for me. I'll be away so there won't be a video but I'll probably still be posting stuff throughout the week. So make sure you follow me on all my socials. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe and don't forget you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups from my website Precious Stars down below. And I will see you next week. Oh no, I won't. I'll see you the week after next. Bye everyone!